you want to watch a movie that's an emotional roller coaster filled with hope and a 97% relapse rate, this movie's for you. Four good days. Let's go check this movie out. Huh? Uh, maybe one. Thoughts on the movie? Good. Pretty good. Amazing. Sad, yeah. Sad. Good and sad? Yeah. Don't do drugs. Those are right. Link says don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Zylan. So as a 15-year-old teenager watching that movie, what mm -hmm. does that make you think about drugs? Uh, that they're not good at all for anybody, even the family. Yeah, drugs will derail your life. Morning. Spoiler alert. I love how the beginning of the movie you see this bright, beautiful girl, like a picture of who she is, really. And then you go through her journey of this, this kind of darkness, but at the end, you see that girl coming back again, who she really is on the inside. Her playing with her kids again, she's laughing and smiling again. And at the end, you just see that bright picture, and I love how the movie brought it full circle. The scene where she's first time in the detox center, the mother's waiting in the car, and she looks across the street and there's a drug dealer. The dynamic of all three, his profit is her pain, them coming out, and they have the choice of either recovery or relapse. All that in one three second shot was amazing. This movie really brings home the depiction of the human versus the addict. She goes in her bedroom and through memories you see who she used to be, and the pain of not knowing how she got to where she is and she's you know trying to really find out what she did in her addiction she's kind of waking up to this fact she sold the guitars she sold mom's wedding ring grandma's wedding rings all for her addiction you can see the pain in there another thing it depicts really well besides her waking up into this shame is what her physical body's going through you see her shaking you see her sleepless and then the loud noises are bugging her, like a bag whips and it hurts her ears and then the alarm going off every time the door opens really is starting to get on her nerves and you can hear it. It's, they bring it to your attention early so every time that alarm goes off it kind of bothers you as well. They did a really good job of sucking you into this movie and letting you feel what it feels like to be the non-addict, the addict, and the codependent parent. the movie the mom is divorced from Mila Kunis Molly's character dad and you see like this beautiful connection though with her new husband and how supportive he is just towards his wife and her struggle and what she goes through with the daughter and you see him encourage the mom to go to meetings and to help herself and to put herself first and then you see the mom taking out her frustration on the person she most leans on which is her new husband and how he can just call her out on all this stuff and she listens and they're supportive and you just see them both kind of bring each other up and him come alongside her and just love her. I thought that was beautiful. There's three tearjerker spots in this movie because this movie is a tearjerker throughout the whole thing but three spots that you can't help but take deep breaths and tears run down your face. Three spots for me is when her mom finally lets her in, things are starting to move forward in detox and these kids show up with this guy in a blue truck and you don't know at the point but they're her kids soon it was like hey mom is like Ugh. and you can see the disconnect between her really knowing who they are and these kids are just like well, there's my mom when they eat dinner and play games the second one is this girl talks her into telling her story in front of kids at school and she starts she like that's where she really just said screw it i'm going to be honest and open about what's going on in my life and, and blatantly tells these kids about where she's at in addiction and where she was just one week prior. Um, and she apologizes to her mom. Yeah, and then the weird. apology to her mother. I about died and cried when the mom was talking to the real dad and she was blowing up at him and then there's this just this silence where you get this understanding that the dad's just had enough and the mom's just at her wit's end. And anytime they did those little silence pieces,
Man, the tears were about coming. Yeah. Through silence, the show told a lot. Mm -hmm. You understand the humanity, you understand the disconnect, you understand the codependency, and just the struggle of what addiction really does to people. You guys want to meet my mommy? Mommy! Sometimes no see. This is my mommy, everybody. Hello. So we came out today to play frisbee golf with my mother. Some of you see her as Cleetha Sederberg in the comments, but this is Grandma T. Grandma T, hi. <laughs> I'm excited for all of you, I'm proud of you, and I love reading the comments, and maybe someday I'll get to meet some of you in person. So how far or when would you give up on Joni if she was a heroin addict? Never. <laughs> Never? <laughs> Never. <laughs> or you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> what if she stole your grandma's wedding ring? Never, <laughs> never. I don't think I could ever give up, but yeah. you definitely have to set boundaries. But I, that'd be tough. <laughs> be a tough one. One thing it really depicts is how well an addict can lie. Hmm. She takes her mom, and her mom doesn't trust a word she says already, but is reluctant to believe her. And then it turns out to be in a lie, and guess what she does? She freaking relapses. When you feel like there's hope in this show, and you're like, this is gonna have a happy ending, bam, uppercut, relapse. Cry. Yeah, and then another cry, and I don't know, I felt weird at that point because I was emotional about her coming to her mom and, and sticking it out and really getting in there so that her mom accepted her in the house and then her pushing to get this shot. All the work she was doing for the first two and a half days of trying to stay clean, but then when she relapsed, I don't know, I lost emotion. I was kind of angry, and I was wondering if I was angry, and I've kind of been thinking about it, was I angry at the way the movie was written? Is this a movie thing, and I was expecting a different thing at the end, but because it's a real life story, am I mad because she relapsed when it's her 15th time going to detox? I don't know, it was a mixed emotions for me as a videographer, as an addict, as seeing and experiencing people come and go in relapses here at Recovering Addict. It made me feel really sad for her and her mom because you see that she's really trying to try. Like this time, even the mom sees it, she's like, this time it's different, it's different, she's acting different. And you see it and you see this try, 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 and then she fails. But the mom is still there believing in her, like, okay, let's do this, let's get you the shot anyways. And then it turns into this chaos and she gets real sick from it, spoiler alert. And then it fast forwards four months and then you see their journey and the hope of every all the hard work that she put into it and believing in her daughter and then i love that you get to see the family side of what triggers because in that part that he was talking about you see the daughter lying about her doctor's appointment and she says it's rescheduled but really she went and got high and then you see four months later she has to reschedule her doctor's appointment again so she can watch her kids and you see that little flicker of is this a lie in the mom's eyes and and that part was i thought was really cool to see that part of the family dynamic There's been a lot of shows done on addiction, but I think this one is at a crucial moment in time. Who it is, the story, and what it's about, and how well it is told of all dynamics of addiction through family and, and friends. At this critical time where there's this awesome shift in stigma, this whole new cultural shift in the way that we look and perceive addiction and addicts in general. And that's what we're here to help people with, is to see the family side of addiction, to bring the addict and make them look more like a person rather than just this addicted person to drugs. Like they're two totally different people. There's an addict and then there's who they really are. And I think this movie did a great job of showing people the difference between the two people. We are a family affected by addiction. My parents and their parents were alcoholics and addicts. Felice's parents the same. And now these are my kids whom I affected through my addiction and then all the isms that go with that, right? So as a whole, we're here as a family in recovery, learning how to grow and live together post addiction, which is a much better place to be than pre and during active addiction. We wanna give you guys hope that it can happen, that recovery is possible, that if you believe and you 
help and you love the addict because they don't love themselves, their self-esteem is in the dirt. You see this mother bring back the self-esteem to her daughter, but the daughter wanted to have help. And so when you support that recovery, you'll see beautiful things happen. We, we recover, recover better together. together. Make sure to share this video out. And subscribe. <laughs> That's good, you wanna say anything? Um, I can't think of anything else. Okay. And like! <sighs> like this video. Ew! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what? <laughs>